Welcome back to Project Jira. It's Rishav here. We have another second marathon video coming up. This is a podcast as well, of course. You can find on Spotify, Apple iTunes, Amazon Music, all that jazz there. Of course, uh, Relief Shelter. This is what this is about. It's a place for those without family, without a place to belong. All those, those, also those for those who don't have family. Uh, you're all welcome here. And of course, uh, this is also currently an analogy between slice of life virtual animation as well as down to earth grounded authentic just irl in real life responsibilities and tasks so it's a combination of both and this mixture um currently is focused like i said the second marathon on podcasting now we're getting to that point uh, i know that in the latter portion of this video or podcast whichever you're receiving this medium in the form of we're just going to cover um some podcasting but at the very beginning we still have some more administrative stuff that I didn't think that I would have to cover, but we do. And that's what we see here like once again for the third time, three videos back to back on the top and bottom right hand side of this video here. So let's just get started, right? Dive right into content. Okay, so the very top right now, just had to keep this thing on top of my nose. Um, there's three browser tab, three, four browser tabs here for YouTube playlists and um, I was considering contemplating, I was, cont I was considering or contemplating converting them over to podcasts, um, which is something new. So YouTube podcasts apparently uh, allow for an analytics and uh, so on and so forth. So something a little bit more in depth. Uh, they are a subtype. <clears throat> they are a type of playlist, sorry. And so if we go over here, I'm going to just hop over my side here. This one here is for computers and technology. And uh, the most important thing about opening these tabs was not to convert them into podcasts. For example, this one is still a playlist, but I had to rename some of them. So this one was just zero zero dot technology before. And now we've decided to combine technology and add also um, a clarifying word behind it, plus computers. So technology and computers, tech and computers. And then we go to the zero zero. Also, we update description. <clears throat> My throat's breaking up. Making sure that the description also includes the, pod, the Spotify podcast as well as the more recent Slice of Life moniker. Mm. Making sure the podcast also, uh, the videos also say they publish as newest. Um, and so we repeat this for three other playlists. And if I can see here clearly, there's also uh, the playlist on money and finance. This one is a money comma finance. We just changed the comma to a plus sign. And I made sure that, of course, once again, the description of the date with a uh, slice of life and Spotify. Same thing here with uh, communities and support. <clears throat> this one, I believe, uh, was not updated either in the publishing. So I was putting all the old videos first, all the old podcasts first. Um, and uh, it was not named support. So it was just community. So zero zero dot community, remove the zeros and then add support. Last one here, fourth video, I mean, fourth playlist <clears throat> is food plus grocer. So we added a plus grocer. Okay. And once again, uh, change the, the order. And I noticed this one, the description is not up to date yet, but it's not too big of a deal because food is just food. Anyways, we may leave this open just so we can edit this later on. Let's make sure that it's published newest and it is and playlist settings, same thing is correct. So that's about it. Um, I don't think there's any more reason for me to do anything here. Uh, should I edit? Nah, it doesn't matter. So we'll just close it. Mm. And I think that's it. So for the, if you got the tab on the very top. So now we're moving to the tab at the very bottom, uh, bottom right hand side. <laughs> Sorry guys, my throat's kind of breaking up. I'm doing the laundry and I should probably drink the water as well. soothing okay so at the very bottom we also have the calendar open for microsoft outlook and the reason why this is open is because i mentioned that previously we had missed the just today the training or the day before this the training for government assistance uh into acquiring a government type job in administration in, in, in administration research it support and so on and so forth um 
long story short, I want to get back to the communicators. And I believe uh, the name is something along the lines of blah. I'm not going to say, right? Just uh, let's say TD is the initials. <laughs> so we open the calendar here. Right, we went to the details of that event right here. And uh, we just clicked on the description, copied it, and pasted it over on Excel to get a good feel for what the content information would be. And then we hopped over to the side tab over here, which is where all the information is. So I'm not going to go through uh, this kind of stuff because obviously it's a bit uh, private stuff. But learn about work-based learning program and timelines. And uh, there's the phone number here as well. So I'm definitely going to try and see if I can't call. Um, and ask them for more information again once again i want to get receive a sort of um what do you want to call um a webinar recording if they have it pre-recorded um an alternative to this would also be to just to speak to the coordinators themselves and get some basic information as to how i can apply because uh, i would really love to do that okay uh this is the portal for that specific uh site again there's a privacy little graphic here that covers the general service provider's name and so on and so forth but you can see workshops news services locations categories contact privacy in fact i might want to click on contact but i'm going to do that off stream obviously um or on stream i can kind of pause the video right now um before we do that why don't we just check out the weather here and just mention that it seems like the weather is about 12 13 degrees upcoming and uh that's actually all right but then after into friday so about three days later it's going to shoot back up to 20s before dipping again so the general theme is that yeah it's mid-april and i have to stop wearing the suit so i am planning i'm right now actually doing the laundry with the sheets the washer dryer with the blankets and the sheets it's all happening right now um with some clothing as well so you know maybe today or the day after we'll be washing the suit who knows okay. So with that being said, we can close the weather off as well. I'm going to pause it now and see if I can find the content information and then we'll dive into podcasting. And perfect. So it turns out, yes, in fact, there is a way to contact them and ask them for more information. So here is the new web page. And again, it's covered with some private privacy information, but you can see at the very bottom, a notice of collection. But above there, there's actually a field, a blank field for the name email address, phone number, message, and also an, auth an authentication graphic. So here's a brief sample of what I wrote. I drafted, hello there, hi, um, hello team rep, employment and social service team rep, uh, coordinator TD. I would like to ask if you can send a copy of the April blah or April bleh, like the, the specific dates uh, I'm not going to have to reveal. Webinar on applying for work-based learning under the city of blah starting in the September 4 or September or to November for at least about six months, uh, if not more. I've registered but missed the webinars due to volatile, unstable housing situation. My email address is blah. And if not, please redirect me to the right contact. Thanks for your time and consideration. And then warm regards, and that's about it. So fairly straightforward. I'm now going to pause the video and send it and then close it. So just three two one and surprisingly that leads us to over to this page and i'm not sure what just happened i think the recording just stopped started without my um my pressing the button automatically but anyways uh so this is interesting they have a home page here and it's got a rolling widget you can see some of their socials down here that are pretty out of date like the old icon for youtube dig old facebook old twitter uh, these are definitely like 2008 symbols. But anyways, uh, Toronto uh, Social Employment Services, pleased to introduce our Employment Center EC portal. First phase of an online test employment center. You'll be able to view, learn about, and register for employment center workshops offered by test locations across the city. The portal will allow you to self-register for any job and community information fair hosted by test and other city divisions. And through the portal, you can, of course, learn about blah, service locations, uh, workshops, community information fairs and so on and so forth and body da so i'm just going to pause it for now and restart uh over here so we finally sent a message i've copied that and pasted that over to excel 
I can see we have we're only about nine minutes in, which is perfect. Pronto, we have more time. At least half of this podcast video will be dedicated, therefore, to basically podcasting. What we're going to do before we get to that point is we're just going to switch scenes over to display. And the reason why we're going to do that, as you can see, is because down here, uh, there's a little Cisco webinar. And so this is something that was related to why I just showed you the employment social services for a particular region or district or township or city that I'm in. So that specific government assistant program sent for work-based learning um, was supposed to be tended through this particular app called WebEx, just like Zoom or like webinar, right? Zoom, webinar, whatever. And join the webinar if you're first host to join, sign in, start the webinar, name, email address, remember me. Anyways, you just install this very quickly. Um, they have a little attachment file or no non attachment file on the email that's insecure, but they send it through. Um, what is it? Yeah, it is. I believe it is through a link. But anyways, you, you open, you download, you install, and then uh, you're supposed to be able to ten, attend the webinar if you're there on time when the host is running it, which I was not. So that's a shame. And uh, of course, we're not going to keep the software. So let's just close it. So finally, we can hop over to the podcasts. And uh, you know what? As far as I'm concerned, I don't see any reason why I should uh, swap over to the backdrop display scene. If we can stay right here, we can just cover everything that we need to in terms of podcasting right here. So we'll start off with a uh, Cisco is configured to run an app startup. Um, hold on, we gotta change the settings here for a moment. All right, so what ended up happening was um, a pop-up appeared notification on the side of Windows indicating that that program that I just uh, installed, WebEx, was starting to run at startup, which is the exact opposite of what we want to do. We want to never run ever again um, unless we actually have to attend one of those webinars. I highly doubt we'll run into that again though, so. Anyways, that's that. So um, we just uncheck the mark. We went over to settings, the Windows settings popped up and we just turn off the settings. So it's no longer going to run at startup. Um, I may just end up going to try and uninstall it. I want to check how much space it takes. Uh, it's taking up, but I'm assuming no more than say about 200 megabytes. So it shouldn't be a big deal. Anyways, back to podcasting here. So uh, we left off with about 370 tabs or so, and we can, let's see if we can knock off 10 in this particular podcast here. But, um, you know, more platforms, right? Like I said, for podcasting where we left off, can't believe it took that much time, about like 10, 11 minutes just to cover all that stuff about the employment social services that we missed, um, as well as some YouTube playlists that we were renaming. Uh, but Simplecast, Creator Connect. Uh, we finished, I remember talking about Bandcamp, but actually just a couple podcasts before Bandcamp. And this was about podcasting, of course, about four or five, maybe six videos of podcasts go a week past. Uh, we covered Stitcher. So Stitcher and Pandora were both uh, originators, uh, were both uh, bought out by Simplecast Creator Connect or Simplecast Creator Connect was created after the parent company Sirius XM uh, purchased and acquired both, uh, both of the subsidiaries. So we have here, of course, we were trying to create an account to um, get our podcast posted over on Stitcher as well as Pandora. And so they have the show details links below Stitcher, Pandora, podcast settings, uh, RSS feed. And of course, if we want to remove the show, that's not what we want to do. Um, and we can close that. That's uh, mainly the main reason why we're here. Okay. So here's, in a, here's a real fun one. Tune in. And uh, also I see here, right, ruptured eardrum is very common, may occur for many reasons, how you recognize it, what you do with, uh, if it's torn rather lightly or severely. Um, so this is anyways, uh, just a tab, that I, a remnant tab about uh, the ruptured eardrums. Okay, so let's move back on to tune in though, so we can close that one as well. So we're knocking off a couple tabs already. So tune in, promote, grow your audience with on tune in. So audiobooks, sports, music, news, and podcasts. A uh, very large platform, by the way, embed our player. Um, and uh, wherever you are, whatever you want to hear, hear, hear. That's a good, that's a good pun. 
So listen now, audiobooks, sports, music, news, podcasts about us, contact us, careers, press, product support devices, tune in live, communities, brands, broad- podcasters, and broadcasters. So there's actually two there, kind of matches off really well. It's so live streamers as well as podcasters. Um, can close that, but basically uh, this is a great uh, app. It's a great platform. I felt like it's pretty, it's got a very slick interface and I feel like it's very professional. So you can see here CNN and Fox News and NFL. So National Football League, MSNBC. Basically, these are all from the States, if you're not familiar. So live MLB, NHL, Motorsports, all this stuff is available for listening. These are all large major platforms. So you think of CNN, you think of Fox News, basically the largest left and right conservative and liberal platforms, um, politically speaking. Uh, for news, okay, and then uh, you could basically watch on television, but you're, you can actually listen to it on radio here too, on TuneIn, which is a very large platform, clearly. Start your free trial, home, search, premium, radio, recents, on the left-hand side panel, and then in the middle here you have the uh, relief shelter. If we scroll down here, you can see the episodes um, uh, that are released, and uh, it's, it's actually up to date, up to today, and uh, of course I don't believe anyone's actually going to listen or watch this, but especially with a description like this, that's kind of a, yeah, yikes. But, uh, excuse me, get a little tired, uh, but that is what it is, so we can close that. It's pretty clear. So tune in is ready, we copied the link over and pasted it over onto Excel spreadsheet. The next thing we have here is Podbean. Um, and Podbean technically we already covered, so I don't see any reason why we should be showing this, but this is the channel management page. So we can see podcast, podcast channels. Should really only be one channel for me right now, but if you wanted multiple channels, you'd have to pay um, because Podbean doesn't allow you to have multi- more than one channel if you're just uh, a regular Podbean user. So surprise it didn't kick me off. I thought that they would... Uh, actually um do something about this uh usually they kick me off oh that's right so this is not my pod my pod be manager it's not my podcast manager page which is why they allow they're allowing me to be logged in still okay so let's remove this uh i'm not particularly enthused about doing anything there this one probably will log me out and that's right it has logged me out because this is the administration page um it seems like uh, it was going to cover something along the lines of uh my plugins or there we go, videos. Sorry, guys. Quite tiresome. Uh, I've been working for about like, feels like working for like seven hours now. Sign into your account, continue Google, continue Apple. Email address or password, forget password, blah. Login. Sign in with blah instead. So we can get rid of Podbean. And now we have a bunch of sites here. I want to pause here and let them load. So just bear with me. And they've loaded about four more that seem to be a mishmash of different ones. So I can tell that Radio, Radio Public, this is something we've covered already in detail. But uh, this is how you submit your podcast to the specific platform that is Radio Public. Fairly large, has a great guide, a uh, very large network of articles on how to do podcasting, uh, getting started, increase, uh, grow your audience, and um, you know monetize. Enter the email address associated with your podcast and we'll send you a magic link to your inbox, your email, continue, don't have an account, and so on and so forth. Pricing, logins, uh, yeah, so we don't need to cover this, honestly. And then we hop onto the next side again, verify podcast, same thing. Search for your own podcast, show or title by pasting your show's RSS feed, uh, Radio Public, iTunes link, you need this link to help prove you have ownership of the podcast, and add it to the search directory. As usual, uh, multiple, some of these platforms really require that you have to provide your email address, it's for verification purposes. Checking on the time here, we're about 19 minutes in, so I'll probably wrap this up. We'll wrap it off with these last two tabs here um, of more platforms. So this is music.amazon.ca. Of course, you can have your podcast played here uh, over on Amazon Music. But I was checking out here, okay, what do you have in their homepage if uh, you decide not to go with podcasting, all the music here. So it's from, they're listing by artists right now. And by genre so popular pop country rock classic rock hip-hop and rap alternative dance electronic and r&b so and furthermore of course more genres if you were to scroll to the left or whatever but you have the weekend uh Taylor swift morgan wallen the beatles osiris elton john 
Imagine Dragons, uh, I don't know who Luke Holmes is, ACDC, Kane Brown, Ed Sheeran, and this is clearly all popular stuff. Uh, Rihanna, of course, Fleetwood Mac, uh, Fleetwood Mac, that's an old name, that's an old title. Um, wow, that's that takes me back. I always listen to Landslide of Fleetwood, from Fleetwood Mac, it's like a, it's a 60s one. Guns N' Roses, Queen, of course, you can't have Queen, you can't miss Queen, Bohemian, Bohemian Rhapsody. Um, yeah, music. So that's what that is. Of course, you can hop over to rock and hip hop if you really wanted to, and it changes accordingly. So the Rolling Stones, Guns N' Roses, Pink Floyd, Casper, Ryan Adams, and uh, I don't know, classic rock. In the world. Eminem, Today, Juice World, Metro the Boomin. Research, these are the <laughs> that's hip hop. The I wonder so what classic rock is compared to rock. Queen. Yeah, that's classic. Okay, gotcha. Okay. Alternative. How alternative? I'm a little curious here. Yeah, I I'm, I don't really know what the difference. Okay, so let's close this. What we'll go is hop over to the last thing here. That's also Amazon Music, and that's the promotional tools. So marketing best practices, clear messaging is the key to successfully marketing your podcast. Here's five tips to consider as you promote your podcast. Keep your podcast at the focus of your messaging. Tell your audience what to expect when they listen to your show. Clearly communicate the benefits your show will provide to your listeners. So a lot of this stuff here, I actually have to actively provide and improve on myself. Keep your podcast as a focus of your messaging. Uh, clear messaging. I mean, is this clear messaging is the key to successfully marketing your podcast. Uh, tell your audience what to expect when they listen to my show. Uh, something I had to do here as well. Could to communicate what benefits. Uh, definitely, I, I don't do that at all. Really, um, makes it easy for make it easy for your listeners to find your show, provide the link to your show on Amazon Music. Done that. Let your listeners know they can listen on the go with hands-free music listening powered by Alexa for iOS and Android and on all Echo devices. So that's something that I say occasionally at the end of my podcast, something along the lines of being able to listen during your commute. So suggested messaging. So they actually provide samples here. I think this is really interesting. Um, follow Blah on Amazon Music. Follow Blah, your podcast name on Amazon Music. Get new episodes when they become available. Listen to Blah on Amazon Music. Listen to the latest episode of Blah. Amazon Music. So it's very straightforward, very clear. And they have more social templates. Find social templates to announce to your followers that your podcast is now available on Amazon Music. Uh, please tag at Play More Pods and hashtag podcast on Amazon Music. And we will share or repost whenever possible. So that's something uh, that's fantastic. I probably should do that and, uh, and add that to one of my Twitter handles. But I can tell you that podcast on Amazon Music is a very long Twitter handle. So I don't know if I actually want to do that. Um, add the listen on Amazon Music button. That's something that won't be relevant to me. But basically, if you have a web page, you can copy, and copy the HTML and I believe paste that over into your HTML into your Barbie browser. Copy the link to your podcast. Um, no, it's not. That's actually just a quick access button. Um, click on the icon to access. Yeah, it's just for the browser. It's not for your actual site and the Amazon Music Influencer Program. So if you create music, it helps content creators monetize your traffic. Obviously not relevant to me because I'm not producing any music. I think we'll end it off here. I'll leave this open because it's particularly interesting to me what social templates they have. If I click on it right now, I wonder where they'll lead me. Um, social templates and it's actually a downloadable file. I'm impressed. But that's going to make us lag honestly right now so what i'm going to do is just kind of pause right here i can save as what i'm going to do also by the way i forgot to mention just the very end of this uh, live stream down here the very bottom left and right we can see that there are some file we have 11 file explorers open and some housekeeping stuff here to get rid of on the notion of downloads uh for of these social templates for amazon music we can probably get rid of one here that has to do with a duplicate of audio files so i'm going to actually close this one here i believe this is not necessary and then we also have the usb that was for transferring the obs backup that has also been finished so we don't need this one here either with my devices okay and the last one here that we don't need is also this one here which is basically the webex client that i mentioned at the very beginning of this video for the employment social services from government funding assisted training and work-based um, 
placement. Long story short, uh, we mentioned that we're not going to keep that program installed um, if possible. And uh, we also don't need the installer, which was uh, saved over here in a temporary file somewhere inside program files from Microsoft. So we can close that after opening it and uh, we'll just get rid of that as well. So I can see here that Edge has, says it's downloaded the thing that we're looking forward to, which is uh, what we're gonna do is gonna save it as, and we're gonna save it into a zip folder, into the folders for zip files really. So I'm gonna do that off stream, not here on stream. So with that being said, I think that's a good wrap of everything. I'm gonna hand it over to the backdrop and say, uh, you know, thanks for tuning in. This is a partly behind the scenes stuff, but also partly clearly uh, related to a lot of podcasting material and platforms. I'm happy to have covered Radio Public um, in brief detail, but mostly Amazon Music uh, and their templates, but also most importantly, tune in because that was something really exciting because it's a big major platform that hosts a lot of new news, pro uh, news platforms as well. So, okay, that was a mouthful. See, it's about like 26 minutes, a little longer than I wanted, but that's all right. I'm Rashid, I'm signing out. Thanks for tuning in. If you have anything relatable, again, are you guys searching for employment? Are you guys looking for jobs? What's your line of work? If you are already working, how long have you been doing it? Uh, don't go into too much detail, only what you're comfortable with. Share your stories and relatable experiences. And once again, if you're podcasting yourself, if we should just chime in, what's your podcast about? And uh, leave it in the comments. So. That being said, uh, of course, you can hop over to my podcast anytime. Every day, there's a new podcast, um, also a video over on YouTube. So Spotify, Apple, iTunes, um, Amazon and stuff like that, as well as YouTube and so on and so forth. If you want some uncut footage for uh, very few, most of my stuff is freely available. But if you want extra stuff, of course, there's still more stuff on over on Patreon. And that's about it. So just a little bit of marketing. Thanks for tuning in, for watching. I appreciate it very much. And I'll see you guys in the next one where we cover more podcasting related stuff. I most likely all have opened the file for the Amazon social templates and see what they look like. Maybe I can share with you guys what it looks like because it is a free commodity. All right. Peace out.